Nex here and welcome back to another exciting video. Now today's video is going to be a little different because I am actually going to be showing you guys my new tank. This is not going to be a very in-depth tank tour, but I just wanted to show you. And um, I just uh, sprayed the tank down um, and stuff and there is a crab up there climbing away. And there is also a crab up here that I did not see before climbing there. Um, so it is a pretty simple layout, um, not too much of a hassle. There is a lot of floor space, especially on this level, um, although um, they can't really molt up there, or I don't really want them to. As you can see, the substrates are not divided here. Um, that's the only part in the tank, and also there are rocks at the bottom, which they should not be there. So when my tank change comes out in June, July, or August, this month, next month, or the next month, the month after, I will be taking those out and just getting sand. No eco earth, no more eco earth. Um, I know it is good for humidity and keeping the moisture, but personally, it just dries out really, really fast, and to me, it does not keep humidity very well. Um, so I'm just going to use regular sand as it is a better substrate, in my opinion, to use as it holds their caves better when they go down for their molts and stuff, and it holds and it stays at sand castle consistency pretty well. So over in the left hand corner, I have a hammock which has a few shells on it and is you can go on it by a chola wood and then under that are a, is a, a plastic container kind of a round shallow plastic container which I put some substrate in um, and also put some shells in there and then here um, I have this big long plant that leads into the big salt water dish upgrade the salt water dish and that writing is on the outside. And there is writing on the outside, as you can see, there's like a felt. This can easily come off. I just choose not to do it because I need to know where everything goes on the tank and where everything has its own place. Like that felt piece has to go there, so that's why it's there. So yeah, if there's writing on the tank, um, there is always writing on the tank, but it can't easily be come off. So I know where everything is. So yeah, this is quite a big, container for the salt water very deep and there are no there's almost no shells over here so they can fully submerge and then they can get up by this or they can get up by the shells just change their food as well so there is some stuff from the HCP in there as well past that we have the Mopani wood um, medium from the hermit crab patch and there is a crab climbing on that right now uh, I believe that's small yes and then there's a plant behind there there's a hide over here sorry it's a little hard to see because of the glass there's a hide over there, right there, and then there's a chola wood beside it, small chola plant right here. Um, there's the barnacle right there, by the Mopani wood right there. Um, another small chola, a plant that leads up to where the hermit crab is. I believe that's stitch on there. Yeah, that's stitch. And then there's small wood underneath of her, then there's another plant. And then there's that magnetic rock structure. Then there's another plant there, then there is a kind of like a sprung up plant there, another plant, some shells, um, an urchin from the hermit crab patch, another shell, coconut hut, another shell, then there's the fresh water dish, which was my old salt water dish, with two shells in it so they can get out, even though they can at least emerge and get out in there, Fill just in case, you never know. Then there's another plant which leads up to the second level, which they love climbing. Um, I just want to go. They love climbing it um, and getting there. And there's a small cactus, which isn't real there. There's a hermit crab here. Then there's a this plastic wooden fake structure here, which they like to climb. Then there's one of these. Then there's this big, big log hide. Another plant on here. And there's a lot of heaters on this as well. There's um, this big log hide through there that goes through. Then there's another plant back there and a shell next to that. And then there's a shell over there as well, right there. So yeah, this is basically the tank. Pretty, pretty good setup. There's a heater back there as you can see. There's another one here, right there. And then there's another one over there. there. So yeah, there's three heaters on this tank and then two lights. And right now the heat um, is at 79.5. 
Um, and I just changed it, so that's pretty normal. It should go up to 82 um, at the most, or maybe 83, but that's it. It won't go higher than that, which is good. They like it. Um, high 70s to low 80s is a really good temperature for them. Um, they're most active when it's... They're not very active when it's not a good temperature. So in total right now, I have six hermit crabs. I'm not going to get any more anytime soon, although I am hoping to get at least one for my birthday or two that are rescues from the PetSmart near my house. Um, Smog, if you didn't know, Smog and Frodo came from those PetSmarts, and they are doing great. Smog especially. Frodo is a little bit shy, but he's kind of coming out of his shell. There's a pun there, but um, he's really, really, really warming up to me. He's still a little bit frightened of me, so he does hide in his shell, which is not a relatively good sign, but um, he shouldn't be afraid of me. So he's kind of getting used to it. He's kind of hiding in his shell less and less, and I've, I've even gone up to the glass really slowly. He hasn't gone back in his shell, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, this is the tank tour. Um, sorry that it's not a full in-depth one. Pretty in-depth, um, though. And my substrate... Um, did go up a little bit. It was like here before and it should be here. I'm gonna make it there I'm gonna get six bags of sand or seven bags of sand and fill it up to this line and then fill this all sand and There's actually another thermometer here, but these are inaccurate. So don't get these. I have a digital one um, That's actually wrong When you measure it and then measure again like look it, it was like 84 before now it's 81.3 This is the more accurate one. So it mine is a little bit inaccurate. So I'm gonna have to get <laughs> I'm going to get a few more digitals, so one over there and then one over there, and to have it in the different spots of the tank. When you are using a thermometer, make sure not to put it on the back of the heater, so don't put it like, don't put it right close to the heater or the temperature will be inaccurate. You want to make sure you kind of have a few if you have this big of a tank. This is a 90 gallon tank, so you want to make sure you kind of have maybe two or three in here. I only have one right now but I will be planning on getting some more, and I'm planning on getting some um, hermit crab stuff for my birthday, which is in July, so I'm pretty excited about that. And also, I am hoping to be getting um, an order from the HCP, the hermit crab patch, also for my birthday, which will probably be happening. I'm not really sure. I hope my parents come through with that, but um, it will be mostly food-based, and I will make sure to get that uploaded when it is. And for some reason, the um, before the Hermit Crab Patch unboxing, it's totally ruined because my phone, I don't know what it did, but it kind of messed it up somehow, so part of it is cut off, but part of it is good, so I'll try to upload that if I can. It's probably about three minutes of footage, four minutes of footage, whatever. It's not the full thing. It cuts off, and then it says cannot play movies, so I don't know what that's about, but thanks, guys, for watching. Like, subscribe, and keep on watching, guys. Every video Tuesday and Friday. Bye, guys.